Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up? <laughs> All right, so uh, today I'm gonna be doing somewhat of an exciting video, a bit cringy. <laughs> As you can see from the title, I'm going to be recreating my very first YouTube video. My very first YouTube video. This has been requested by a couple of you guys. And I finally, you know, found the courage to go ahead and film me. <laughs> Listen, I didn't even watch over back the full video. It's just the very beginning, like probably the first couple seconds. I couldn't go no further because I was dying with laughter i was like what was i thinking this is crazy this is horrible what at this point i don't think i even started doing makeup artistry at a, as a profession but i was so confident with what i was saying like i'm not gonna even go no further but that's what i'm doing today so yeah <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and get started with the video all right i'm just gonna be looking um on it on my phone my laptop is right there but it's like behind me so i don't really want to have to be turning like this you know every time and yeah my setup is a little bit different today not in my regular setup but yes yeah, so it got some time oh lord I'm a bit nervous all right Let, let's go ahead and start right from the beginning Wait, 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 hold on. Tone down what though? Only see how my eye look? Like, you know why I created this look as my very first um look? I, I used to watch a lot of dramatic like makeup tutorials. Like on my lunch breaks and like when I just had free time at work. Because at this point I still had a 9 to 5 job. Like... I, that's all I would I didn't watch natural looking type of makeup looks it was all about the glitter and the cut crease and just everything dramatic but I get why I'm saying it if you want to tone down this because there's no toning it down like I already went in with cut crease and so much black and white on the on the eye area like I don't understand what kind of anyways let's continue look, just stay tuned and what Went ahead and added some brown up in this area. Oh, um, with this brush, it's an angle frothy brush. It's okay. not a regular eyebrow brush, it's bigger. So, okay, for this, this wasn't a full face, it wasn't a full face makeup look. Oh, it wasn't a full face makeup look, but you know what? Even though I'm recreating this look today, it's about recreating it as well as refining it. So, I'm not going to do it the exact the exact way it was done in this video i'm going to try my best to refine it and make it look way more presentable than what you're seeing so since i started off with eyes i feel like it's only fair that i go ahead and do my face makeup and come back as you can see i went ahead did my full face at this point though if you notice i was not baking just yet so um right here i'm just so jumping straight in the eyes Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I applied transition color. That transition color needed more work, though. Like, I'm going to use the the bomb palette and new tude, and I'm gonna start off with sultry. I'm gonna start off with that, and then kind of build it up with sexy. She's a darker brown. I want to go ahead and use this purple, this purple down here. Okay, so I think I got copyright strike for the song that I used. Okay, so I moved on to a plain color on the lid. But wasn't this a cut crease look? Hold on, what may I do? Hmm. Uh, 
lighter color right into our tear duct area. So I'm really I watch you so I do come in and get the <laughs> me know what I'm missing like me and I'm going to just add so I'm put purple on the end and then I put in like a light nude color on the inner portion. Our transition color we will be adding some black MAC coal pencil and it's black. It is black. So we're going to be just putting just drawing a line. We're going to close our eyes. Draw a line right in. It doesn't have to be me because we're going to blend. Hey, boy, Alright, then not that me did for the before we move on to lid color. Mina and <laughs> our brush. This brush. A very small ash and blending brush. Now we're going to go ahead and blend it. The audio for this was so crappy. At this point I think I was filming with my S3 to my Galaxy S3 at this time. Like wanna see all the background. Alright, so basically then cool. So basically that means money for continue work on the transition color i don't know what i said i do i put on lip color dang <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i use black so black is what i'm gonna use to build up that transition area i'm gonna go in with Sirius from the same new tude um palette from the balm and i'm gonna apply it to my crease area and i kind of winged it out so I'm gonna like slightly wing it out. So after I do this now, I'm basically just gonna go in and kind of try to diffuse it a little bit more with the brush I used for the brown. And then I'm gonna cut my crease. So I'm gonna cut my crease and then I'm gonna go into my Tame Heat to Brazil palette. And I'm gonna take um, this purple. This purple down here. Cut the crease and so I feel like this one is a little bit higher. I just always feel like I create one a little higher than the other one, but let's continue. Okay, so some part of the audio is muted because, as I said, the music I use is copyright. Our eyes with the dark transition color that we added. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of brown down. Rated. So. <laughs> May I add brown and eyeshadow at the end beneath the cut crease. So why well, never just add brown there so from the beginning. You know what? Yeah. I, all right. So add just add just like a follow your lead, right you girl. <laughs> me they are prepared to start wing liner and then me say, you know, 2013 petite. Adding brown over the eyeshadow there. <laughs> yeah, but it's, by the way, this video was created December 2nd, 2013. This is when I joined YouTube, okay? <laughs> Far me I come from. So, alright, I added some brown here, but you know, I'm just gonna pat on. Uh, this is sexy from the new Tooth palette. And we're going to add some white lining right on our waterline. So, what, what I, I will be using for this is clean color. Alright, you know what? Honestly, as I said, I'm refining this look and I feel like too much is going on on the top. And I don't really, I don't think white fits the waterline. I don't know why me that try goes so hard. It was way too much. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a regular black liner to the waterline. All right, Zine? Come, I don't know what me that. I don't know. I guess I wanted to come out with a bang and be like, yo, boom. This is my first makeup tutorial. What you gonna do? What, 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 where I gonna do? It's lit. And then, you know, I apply the white liner and it's not just the, on the waterline, you know, I find the lash line it there. It was so messy. What a way to roast myself. Can't I'll out under the wing portion up here so I'm going to take the white, you know? Phone all a drop. <laughs> no. Take 
for Mac, Mac code pencil, and this is so may I say Mac code pencil. Go ahead. We're going to line underneath the white line that we just created. No. You see, it's a whole new eye shape I'm creating, you know? Because now my eye them look super large. Jeez, um, they look out for the black line. No, you know what? <sighs> so I created a little wing in here, but that was on my lash line. I'm not going to take my liner down that far. I can smoke it out, though. Alright, so what I'm going to do is create like a... But I don't know why I was winging the bottom line out that far. This is some serious wing action going on. Okay, okay so... Alright, I'm going to come back with, my, with, with a wing on top. So I'm going to go ahead and create a wing on top. And a wing on the inner portion of my eye. Overpowering eyes, we're going to make the lips be very natural and you know, nude somewhat. So, what I'm going to do so at that point, I was done with the eyes. Can you believe that? Like, the eyes look a mess to be very honest. And I didn't even add lashes. You know what happened in that time? I didn't even understand how to put, apply lashes just yet, and it was killer for me. So I didn't do anything in terms of lashes. So I'm gonna add lashes today. This is it. So I'm just gonna pop these on and come on back. I do have an eyelash tutorial if you're interested. So that will be linked. But I'm gonna apply these and come back. At this point, I wasn't even really using setting spray or illuminator, those stuff, because those stuff weren't trending um yet. So I'm gonna add those to the look okay so for the lips it's time for the lips and this is um from black opal and it's tan awesome i'm using concealer for the lips and what we're going to do is we're going to add some very natural a very natural looking lip gloss to the lips and it's kind of like it has this orangey shade All right, so I didn't even line the lips. <laughs> so I'm gonna use Sen Nudes from Baby Matte, um, from Lena Cosmetics Baby Matte Collection. I'm gonna use my Sigma um, Lip Vex in Skinny Dip because uh, this is of an orangey tone, just like what I was trying to bring forth in the video. So yeah, I am gonna add some liner. We like this is pretty much it, like. And that's, and that's it, guys. That's the conclusion. Okay. I let my hair down. Thanks for watching. And please just support me by subscribing, liking, and commenting. I would really appreciate it. Until next time. I thought I was going to say I'm a girl petite too. So that's the look. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this scarf. Like, just watching back that video really made me realize how um, far. I've come in terms of just growth and you know with how I do my videos now and everything not just the videos but the makeup because that was the main focus like you know and that just goes to show you anything you do just be confident because listen nobody could tell me anything at that time zine because I was just in it and that was because I wasn't just I've never just done a video just to do the video I always have the urge to do it always felt the passion to do it you know that was it like as I said that was my very first video on YouTube and honestly I was just I I enjoyed every moment of filming it because YouTube back then I just would just sit and watch videos every single day watching other videos in general just really inspired me to be on the platform that was pretty much it but guys, let me tell you, it would have never been possible without you guys. Just know that. And I, genu I genuinely appreciate each and every one of you guys' support because you helped me to grow as well, you know. And, you know, good criticism is always very helpful. You know, tearing somebody down by saying, ah, that's all good. Like, tell me what I need to do better, you know. And you guys were there for me along the journey. Some of you, you know, I gained new followers along the way. And I'm very grateful. And, you know, 
it's a journey you know it is a journey and that video proved <laughs> that you know it's growth and sometimes it's good to look back at where you're coming from it's always good to look back where you're coming from and never forget that because that is your foundation so yeah that's it and thank you guys for watching um <laughs> like it's amazing thanks for watching i really appreciate the support i hope you guys continue to support and for all the people who are watching and aren't subscribed as yet please go ahead and do so because i do upload each and every week and i try my best to stay very consistent with my uploads and yes feel free to suggest which other videos you'd like for me to do doesn't have to be makeup related could be hair or fashion and i'll go ahead and see what i can do so yeah until next time i'm your girl petite Bye. <laughs>